The day before the Emergencies Act was invoked, downtown Ottawa remained choked by protesters. And RCMP Commissioner Brenda Lucky met with federal cabinet ministers. It was her job to keep the prime minister and his inner circle up to date on what the various police forces were doing to deal with the convoy. Cabinet is on the verge of invoking the Emergencies Act. You are their window on law enforcement. That evening, she had an update. After weeks of confusion over who was in charge, the Ontario Provincial Police, Ottawa Police and RCMP had finalized a plan to clear out protesters using existing laws. But Lucky didn't say that. The only explanation was the meeting ended before she had a chance to speak. A lawyer with the public inquiry looking into the government's use of the Emergencies Act pressed her on that. Your update to Cabinet as it is deciding whether to invoke the Emergencies Act is that the police now have a plan, they've pulled it together, and that you, as the Commissioner of the RCMP, consider that plan to be workable without the authorities of the Emergencies Act. And that doesn't get delivered. Your messages don't get delivered to Cabinet when they then deliberate on the invocation of the Act. Do you appreciate the significance of that scenario? Uh, yes and no, because we had spoken about the fact that we had an integrated planning cell, that we were bringing together a plan. Lucky admits she failed to tell Cabinet that evening that police were ready to act. She says she didn't know they were on the verge of invoking the Emergencies Act. I guess in hindsight, yeah, that might have been something significant. Uh, honestly, um, there was so much information going back and forth. In the days that followed, as police moved in on protesters in the capital, Lucky says the Emergencies Act was useful. In particular, it gave them the power to force tow companies to remove the trucks that occupied the streets. Marina von Stackelberg, CBC News, Ottawa.